guys, what's up? This is Ghost Face Reviews, back with another video as always. Um, now, you guys might be aware that last night I was planning on doing a live stream, but sadly YouTube has been really, really stupid and updated the um, channel guidelines where you can't live stream unless you have a thousand subscribers, which sucks. So I'm going to have to make this video uh, pre-recorded to upload for you guys to watch. Um, so I'm really sorry about that guys. Um, I will be able to do Instagram live streams, so if you're not following the channel um, on Instagram, go ahead and do so because I will do a live stream on there very, very soon. But to kick this video off, we're going to be starting off with some questions that I received on Instagram, and then we'll move on to the YouTube uh, comments afterwards. So starting off, we have a question from the Instagram user Screamstalker. And he asked, which Ghostface mask uh, releasing this season I'm most excited for? Now, um, the, one I'm, the ones I'm most excited for are the fluorescent masks. Uh, they're going to be in the Fearsome Faces colours of pink, orange and neon green. So I'm super excited for those to drop. Um, I'm going to be picking up all of them and doing reviews of uh, every single one and then doing a review of the whole set together. Uh, so be stoked for that. That one's going to be an interesting one for you to watch now. Um, next question is from Brandon Syme. Uh, Brandon Syme has a really good Goosebumps channel for anyone who's into Goosebumps. Be sure to follow him and check out his content on Instagram and on YouTube. And Brandon asked what my favourite Scream movie is. Um, I'd have to say my favourite Scream movie is probably the first and the second. Uh, just through the nostalgia fact of those being the ones that I watched when I was a kid. So that's probably my favourite uh, screen movies. Next question is from Zachary Lumsden. And he asked, did I like the new Child's Play movie? Now, me and my girlfriend went to see the new Child's Play movie. And when the first scene opened up and we saw Chucky, um, we just could not believe how stupid we thought he looked. And we almost walked out of the cinema. But... After um, getting really into the movie and seeing it as more of a fun, a, more of a fun kind of movie than a serious remake of the original, we both actually really enjoyed it. Um, and I'd happily go and see it again just to see if my opinion has changed on it. But first impressions were that I did enjoy it, so that answers your question, dude. Uh, next one we've got is from a user called. Crezafon? I hope I'm not butchering the pronunciation of that. Um, and he asked me, what do I think of the movie The Strangers? Now, I don't know how many of you are aware, but I'm a huge fan of home invasion movies. Uh, like Your Next, The Strangers, etc, etc. Um, I absolutely love The Strangers movies. I loved Pray at Night when it came out. I watched it three times in the cinema. Um, but if you're asking about the original Strangers, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the fact it was based loosely upon the Manson, um, the Manson murders was really cool. Um, and I was just a huge fan of the way the characters were portrayed in that movie. And as you guys are aware, I do own all of the Strangers masks. Um, and I'm a huge fan of the look that they gave the Strangers in those movies. So I definitely, definitely enjoyed both of the Strangers movies. And I'm really looking forward to potentially getting a third one, either set before um, the first movie or after the next one. That is, if one of the strangers did survive, which I'm highly doubtful of. But, yeah, we'll get into the YouTube questions next. And I'll answer all of those for you guys as best I can. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys. So, we're going to be moving on to the questions from YouTube now. Uh, now, there was quite a ton of questions that were actually received last night. So, it's probably going to be a fairly long video. Um, but, you guys like that sort of thing. So, I'll get straight into it. So the first question asked on YouTube was by Nightmare Fuel Reviews, and he asked me three questions. He asked, if I had to choose to live in any location from a horror movie, which would it be? Now, if I had to choose a specific location from one particular movie, it would probably be the forest from The Evil Dead, or um, Haddonfield from Halloween, just because of how big of a fan of Halloween I am. Um, but I'd also like to live in a universe where... Everything was in the style of Tim Burton's animations, because I'm a huge fan of everything Tim Burton's ever released. So I'd love to do something like that. Uh, number two is, if your house was burned to the ground and I had to save only one thing, which would it be? 
Um, that is a ridiculously hard question. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I think I wouldn't try to save anything. I think I'd just let myself burn with it because I don't want to lose any of my shit because it's taken me so long to collect it all. I'd rather just burn with the house. So, next question is, finally, what got me into horror in the first place? Um, so, I'd have to say, probably watching clips of Scream um, over at my friends' houses as a kid, um, watching them on VHS. Um, most, I don't know, it's, it's a hard question. There's a lot of things that got me into it, whether it was from music and gaming um, that got me into the darker side of metal, that got me into the more theatrical looks like Misfits and Ghost and Slipknot um, and all sorts of bands like that. But, yeah, it's kind of a difficult question. Um, it's a lot of things, really. I'll probably make a video on that for you because there's too much to talk about on that one. Uh, the next question is from Ramen Noodle Games, and he asked me, have I ever played the Friday the 13th game? Now, a few people did actually ask me this question, um, and I have played the Friday the 13th game. I have it on PS4. Um, I've not played it in a little while. Um, I've been more of a fan of Dead by Daylight, but I do really enjoy playing the Friday the 13th game from time to time. Um, but yeah, I do really enjoy that game. It's a great one. Next question is from JLCR Productions. Uh, shout out to JLCR. He um, asked, when I was a small channel, did I expect to grow so rapidly? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Um, I knew the content I planned on making for a long time. Um, but I don't know. I think it's just I was re I'm really dedicated and committed to creating a large horror community. Um, on YouTube, mainly for collecting masks and horror props. Um, but I wouldn't say I've always expected it to go so rapidly. This year we've definitely gained a ton of subs and support from other people. Um, but I've actually had people making videos to support my channel, which is insane. Um, and if you guys would be interested, I'm planning on making some Ghostface Reviews official t-shirts and mugs soon. Maybe some patches for denim jackets. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I can pre-order certain sizes and whatnot. Um, and I'll see what I can do. So if you're interested in that, leave me your size in the comments of this video um, and I'll put a pre-order in and I'll make some t-shirts if you'd be interested. Next question is from Jesse the Slasher and he asked me what the first mask was that got me into mask collecting. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer this one in this video, but I'm going to be making an actual video on this very, very soon, um, all about the first mask ever that got me into mask collecting. It's a pretty interesting video. Um, I have two of that mask now, um, so I'll be sure to make a video on that very, very soon and address that question for you, man. Um, I think a few other people asked me that too, so I'll address that question for you guys very soon. Uh, Super Nerd Again asks... How do I feel about the devil face mask being a part of an alternative costume for Ghostface in Dead by Daylight, the video game? Um, I'm pretty stoked on it. I think it's really cool that they've added the devil face mask. I was not expecting it at all when they announced that Ghostface was going to be coming to Dead by Daylight. Um, the devil face mask is one of my favourite modern um, reincarnations of Ghostface, should I say, that Fun World have released. Um, I think it's a great mask. I've got a, a costume store in my town, actually, that me and my girlfriend visited recently, and they had about three or four devil faces. So I'm going to be sending some of those to uh, Tim from ghostface.co.uk, and I'm going to probably be keeping one or two, and I might give one away in a giveaway if you guys would be interested in that. But I think it's a great addition to Dead by Daylight. I um, wasn't expecting it. I would have loved to see the Scarecrow mask in costume. I think that would have been even cooler. But, you know, never, we never know. Maybe we'll get that further down the line. Um, next question is from Diana Defango 100 um, she's a really good uh, supporter of this channel. She comments on all my videos, checks out all my stuff, so big shout out to you. Um, her question is, who is my favourite horror movie character? God, that is a difficult question. <laughs> um, you see, with this one, I don't really have a particular favourite. It changes all the time. Uh, but if I had to say an overall favourite, it would probably have to be Michael Myers or Dr. Loomis. Uh, I've always loved the way 
that Dr. Loomis has been portrayed in the old Halloween movies. I think that Donald Pleasance is an absolute gem of the horror scene, um, and the fact that he's died as well. Um, you know, massive respect to Donald Pleasance. I, I'd have to say him, um, and probably Michael Myers. There's probably a few others that I'm forgetting, but I'd have to say those two off the top of my head. Um, Laser Beam, I think that's how you pronounce it, L-A-Z-A-R, Beam, asks, Do I love Slipknot um, or any other bands? I do. Um, I'm a huge metal fan. I'm a huge black metal fan. Um, I'm really into all sorts of hardcore, um, like, well... More, more sort of the sort of 80s, 90s uh, hardcore. I do like a lot of melodic hardcore. Uh, stuff like Being as an Ocean, Counterparts, Acres, things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge Slipknot fan. Um, they're one of my favourite bands. I've been into them since around 2005. I remember it was right about when Subliminal Versus came out that I got into them. Um, but yeah, I've got every single album. I'm planning on getting all the albums on vinyl. Um, I'm a huge Slipknot fan. And yeah. Next question is from Final Friday Gamer, and he asks, who my favourite horror icon is, and will I review horror movies? Now, the first part I did answer before, and the second part, will I review horror movies? It's not a... It's not something I've thought about on the channel, but if enough people requested it, I would be up for making that sort of content. So if you guys would be interested in me reviewing horror movies as a whole, definitely let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Leatherface Plays asks, what's my, what are my thoughts on slasher movie remakes? Um, I think as long as they're executed properly and they pay a lot of respect to the original and don't wander too far from the original, um, I'm up for them trying out new things, uh, but it's just when they absolutely massacre it, like the remake of Pet Cemetery that came out this year, I thought it was absolutely terrible. But if you get something like a remake, like the 2009 Friday the 13th, um, I'm so down for it. That movie was sick. Uh, he also has a bonus question of whether I prefer to shit a brick or piss a cue ball. Um, I'd have to say shit a brick. I can imagine that the cue ball would be pretty painful. <laughs> Fortnite fan asks, have I ever played the Friday the 13th games? I have. Um, I went into that a little earlier on in the video. Next question is from Roman Gonzalez. I think, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, I did try my best. He, uh, he says he likes the mask I'm wearing, which is the Pepper Emeritus 3 mask that I need to review soon. Uh, thanks, man. And have I played Fortnite? I've not played Fortnite, um, I've been more into the Black Ops 4 um, Black Ops mode, I think that's really cool. And I played H1Z1 a while back, I've never actually tried Fortnite, I've heard good things about it, but I don't know if it's really my sort of game, I prefer stuff like Black Ops Zombies, um, I play Star Wars Battlefront 2 quite a lot, I'm a huge fan of that game, um, even though it receives a lot of hate, it's got a lot better in the past year. Um, I like stuff like Until Dawn, Outlast, Friday the 13th, most of the Call of Duty is Dead by Daylight. play a lot of Grand Theft Auto, um, Wolfenstein, Fallout, things like that. Um, but yeah, next question is from Mask Reviewer. And he asked me, when did I decide I wanted to start doing YouTube? Well, I did have another channel when I was around 10. Um, I deleted it, but I did do Scream, just solely Scream videos back then, because that's all I was really into. Um, I've sort of drifted from that a little bit lately, but I will be doing more Scream reviews again soon, uh, because I feel as if I've neglected that part of this channel. Um, but I am into a lot of other things lately, I've not been just as into Scream as I used to be. Um, but, I'd have to say, I decided I wanted to do, YouTube, wanted to do YouTube around 10, but... I've been more so into it in the last three or four years. Um, I did think about making a channel for a while. And then I quoted this one and it just went really well. So that's probably the best way to answer that one. The Shape asks, what horror movie would I say really steered me towards the genre? That movie would have to be... 
Scream 1, 2, through um, Ghostbusters, and, damn, I'm trying to think of another one. There's quite a few movies. Um, as lame as it is, I'd probably have to say The Haunted Mansion. Um, it's not really a horror movie, but I fucking love that movie. And I loved it as a kid as well. And I watched it the other day, and it still is fucking awesome. Stranger, um, he's one of my favourite YouTube channels. Big shout out to Stranger. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video or the comments for you guys. He's a fucking awesome guy and he's sending in something soon for um, Mailbox... No, sorry, uh, Fan Mail Friday. Fan Mail Friday. He asks, what are my favourite YouTube channels? That's a really difficult question because I watch most of my subscribers' channels. Um, but I'd actually have to say The House of Masks, um, your channel, Stranger. I'm trying to think. I like the channel Ron. He reviews a lot of masks. I'm a big fan of TGF Bro. Um, they're, they're UK YouTubers. I love their channel. Uh, there's quite a few others. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. I can't really think of that many off the top of my head, but I do spend a ton of time on YouTube, so it's quite a difficult question. Um, but I hope that helps. Decoration Dude asks, What is the scariest slash best horror movie I've ever seen? Oh, that's a hard question. The scariest is in the most disturbing. I'd have to say... When I first saw it, I'd have to say the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie from 74. But it's not really that scary, now I watch it again. Um, and a couple, there's a couple of underrated horror movies that I really enjoy, such as Dead Silence. Um, check that out if you've not seen it. Dead Silence is amazing. There's quite a few others. Um, not many that I can think of off the top of my head. I do like a movie called Antichrist. Um, it's just all kinds of fucked up, really. Um, it's about this couple that go off to the woods and just all sorts of weird shit happens and they start doing weird shit to one another. Um, there's also a really good movie called The Tortured, um, which is really, really good. Um, go check that out if you've not seen it. Uh, Antoine Lavery asks what my favourite song from Slipknot is. Um, that's a hard one. Uh, one of my favourites is Purity, just on the backstory of that song. I really like Scissors and Prosthetics. Um, Six a favourite. Um, basically everything off self-titled. Um, I love everything on I.O. I just love every single album to be honest, but I don't know. I really like the actual song All Hope Is Gone. Um, just everything they've ever released, to be honest. Um, Glitched Gaming asked which horror movie or moment scared me as a child. Now, the one that I can distinctly remember the most is in Scream, where one of the characters, um, she, I think her name's Maureen, she climbs up on the stage um, after being stabbed loads in the cinema and no one thinks it's real um, because they're watching a horror movie and everyone's wearing screen masks. And she climbs up on the stage after being stabbed loads by the actual ghost face killer. Um, she dies on the stage and no one thinks it's real until the last minute when she has officially died and no one helps her. Um, and just her facial expressions and her acting really, really messed me up as a kid. I did not like that scene at all but now when i watch it i think it's fucking awesome it's one of the best scenes in the entire scream franchise super claim clement gaming asks how many masks i have um i actually don't know i've not counted in a long time um, underneath this bed i have probably 100 200 masks um i've got them all over the walls um, i've got some in storage some at my girlfriend's house um you'll see that soon when i move but yeah there's tons Ghost in the Mirror asked what are my favourite bands. At the moment, um, it changes regularly, but at the moment it's probably Misfits, uh, Mayhem, Dark Throne. I do like Borsum. Um Big fan of... Um, I'm trying to think. I'm really into um, my own band at the moment, obviously. <laughs> I do really dig Ghost. Ghost are one of my favourite bands. Um... It's always changing. It's always, always changing. I'm, I'm really into heavy bands like Suffocate, um, The Art of Murder, Within Temptation. Um, I'm trying to think. 
Do you know, it's a hard one. Um, basically everything heavy and all the bands I've listed, but it changes all the time. Uh, Pumpkin Slasher asked me Slipknot or Ghost. At the moment, Ghost. But I'm also so stoked about the new Slipknot, um, the new Slipknot stuff coming out. Really, really loving that. But overall, I have to say Slipknot for how much they've contributed to my life um, and how much they've helped me throughout the years. And the fact they actually are one of the main things that got me into mass collecting. And Ghost at the moment, just because I'm really, really into them lately. Nick Mason asked me what my favourite horror movie is. Uh, like I said, it always changes. Um, I think my favourite horror movie of all time is Halloween 2. Love how Dick Warlock portrayed Michael Myers. Love the hospital scenes. Love Michael Myers' look. I love the stretch of the Myers mask and that. Um, but I'd have to say Halloween 2. Um, the Leprosy asked me how many concerts have I been in and who did I go to see? Oh, I don't know. I've been to tons. Um, I've been into metal, hardcore, all that sort of stuff since I was around eight or nine years old. Um, and God, I've seen so many bands. The most recent band I went to see live was Being as an Ocean, Capsize, Burning Down Alaska, um, Casey, who's now broken up, who are a phenomenal band. Um, I've seen me Elijah live. Uh, who else? I'm going to go see Ghost really soon. I'm going to see Motionless in White and all the support bands in December, which I'm going to film for you guys. I fucking love Motionless in White. Um, not seen Slipknot yet, surprisingly, but I want to go see them as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I've seen loads of local bands. Um, also, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think. I've seen tons. seen Holding Absence, um, either Mapmaker, you name it. Tons of bands. Um, it's hard to remember. Um, what's the next question? Let's see. E um, asked me, do I like Nirvana? I'm not really into Nirvana, um, but I do respect the band. Um, I think Kirk Cobain was a really cool lyricist, and I really like the fact that he struggled with mental health, like so many of us do, and yet he turned it into a positive before he sadly took his own life. Um, PWH HWP asked me how old I am. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm going to be 23 in January. Um, and yeah, 22. The one friend who isn't original asked me, What's the worst horror movie I've ever seen? 100% The Bye Bye Man. It was fucking awful. It was actually not. Saying that, the best, one of the best horror movies I've ever seen is the original Pet Cemetery and The Exorcist. I forgot about those. Um, but yeah, the worst horror movie I've ever seen is 100% The Bye Bye Man. It is fucking awful. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think that's it for the questions, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Have you answered your question um, or I didn't mention your name? Shout out to everyone. Um, shout out to every single person that watches my videos. Love you all. Um, love this community we've got on the go. And I want to say to all of you, thanks for watching. Thanks for asking the questions. Um, there's going to be a ton of re reviews coming soon. Got some ghost masks. We've got all sorts of cool shit on the way. Um, I'm trying to think what could be next. I'll let you guys know as soon as I know. Because it changes all the time with my channel. Love doing a variety of stuff. I'm going to be doing a video very soon. Maybe later today on how to alter a mask um, that doesn't fit properly to fit you like with this mask. I'll show you guys that trick later on at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for the support as always. Hope you enjoyed this q and I'll be doing another one soon. And I'm sorry I couldn't do it live because of YouTube. Um, yeah, it sucks. But when we hit 1,000 subs, which will hopefully be soon, um, we'll be able to do live streams again. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys very, very soon.